Hi, I'm uh, Donya Spot, and I'm going to walk you through a few steps of how to make a really simple circuit, paper circuit. Um, let's see if this one's even working here. The battery's a little loose. Yep, you can see light lights up. Um, you're gonna. The only thing you'll need, um, I've got supplies for you all in a little bag with some directions. You'll need some clear tape and then some some pictures or some symbols to be the, the parts of your feelings chart or whatever it is that you're choosing to make. All right. So to get started, um, some of the materials I have here, it's not showing up super great on the camera. Um, we've got a coin cell battery, some little LED light bulbs, a metal fastener and a paper clip. And then you're going to get your template here. The side that looks like a star is the front and then the back and the circles are should be pretty much lined up. All right, so to get started, you're also gonna have some copper tape. This is adhesive on one side. It's very thin, this is a conductor, and you want to start to lay that copper tape along those lines. So what I do is I kind of lay it down on the line to see how much I need, and rip it off, peel off the backing. You can peel off all at once, or if it's a really long piece, you might wanna do it in pieces, in sections like this, kind of stick it down, and then pull it off and press that down. All right, not super um, picky how you do that. It doesn't even have to be on the lines if you don't want it to be. So once you've put all of those copper strips down, if you mess up or you run out of tape, you actually could use some other conductive material like little pieces of aluminum foil that you um, glue down or attach with double-sided tape. Just make sure that the top conductive part isn't all covered up. Then you're gonna need to poke some holes. I'm gonna use this old um, compass here, but you could certainly use a paper clip, the point of your scissors, something else like that. So I'm gonna poke a hole at the end of each one of these lines beyond the copper and then also in the middle. And this is just to be able to put some things through there. So I'll do each one of those. And then once I've done them all, I'm gonna take my lights and begin to attach them. An LED light bulb is directional. You can see one leg is longer than the other. There we go. The long leg is goes to the positive end of your battery. The short one is negative. So we're gonna keep the positives on the top of the card for this project just to be consistent. So what I do is I just fold that negative leg out at a right angle. Just, it's really hard to see on the picture, but fold the right leg at, I mean, the, the short leg at a right angle and then poke that through one of the holes. So the short leg has been poked through and lay that long leg on top of the copper and then just use a little clear tape to tape it down. Don't cover up all of your copper, just the part where the metal leg is because we need to have some of that copper still there to conduct electricity to the rest of the circuit. So get that on there and just secure that down. And if you don't, if your LED is laying down, you can bend it. These are really flexible, pretty sturdy. You can bend that up just like that, okay? All right, so you're gonna do that all the way around, and then we're gonna flip it over and work on the back. So now we're ready for the back, and you can see that my photocopy doesn't line up perfectly, but these are the negative ends of those LEDs coming through on the back. And basically, I just wanna have them all kind of pointing in general towards this intersection. And I'm gonna put copper tape along from under that LED lead to that center section. So they all connect there in the middle and everything's pressed down firmly. Again, don't put these under the tape, put the legs on top of the copper tape and then we'll secure them with a little clear tape. So I'll do one here. Again, I kind of measure by seeing how long I need. Peel that off and it can be a little tricky especially if you don't have fingernails. And then if that leg's in your way, you can always bend it out of the way. And then again, our goal is to the middle. So there we go. And then I'm just gonna tape that in place. This is the back of the card. So if it's not lining up with those, the, the printed marks, that's fine. Again, don't put clear tape in the center. We want that to still be conductive. Tape each one of those down. And we're gonna go all the way around with that. Okay, so we've got all of the negative LEDs taped that all connect together on the front. Each positive one is taped in. So now if you haven't already, you wanna poke a hole through that middle. We're gonna take um, our fastener 
and a paper clip and this is going to be our switch so just put the put it through the paper clip like that and then stick the ends of that fastener together into that hole and on the back what we want to do is um, for now just fold them away from the middle just for now we're gonna we're gonna change that shortly all right so now what we need to do is add our battery these are three volt co three volt coin cell batteries the big flat side is positive it should have a plus on there the more rounded side is negative remember the back of this battery is negative so we're going to put the negative part down on that intersection. We just want to make sure that this brad can reach over there. All right. And so what we do, just kind of set that down, put at least one side of the brad over, maybe just one like that, and then put a piece of tape on there. Maybe don't tape it down too securely at first, just tell you sure that it works. I can already see one of my lights is lighting up, so that's a good sign. Flip it over. And if you start to rotate that switch, you should see Maybe some of the light bulbs, there we go. Some of them are lighting up, there we go. All right, so it looks like there's a problem with my green bulb. Oh, just a little loose wire. And so you wanna make sure all those tape connections are really secure. Sometimes the paper clip gets bent so it doesn't work as well on one side as the other. So then your circuit's complete. You can go on the back and just make sure that tape is really taped down securely on that battery. So again, the brad is only touching the positive side and all of these on the back are only touching that um, negative side on the other side. So on the other side, if you ever want yours to, to not be on, so you're not wasting the battery, just rotate it somewhere so that the switch isn't touching any part of the circuit. So you've made what's basically a parallel circuit, a bunch of little pathways where each one can light up. And then you can put things at each end. So you might wanna print out some emojis that you could use to put at those ends. Um, or draw pictures or words, whatever you like. All right, be sure to stop by and ask me if you have any questions. I'm gonna put some sets of these um, in the office back there by the mailboxes on that staff board there. Thank you.